Hi everyone, it's Robin Clayton here with another episode of Zodiac Sea at the Farm. It's great to be back here on my channel. Uh, I hope everybody out in the world is doing wonderful. I'm absolutely doing wonderful here. So this is what I'm going to be making today. So I hope that you will stay with me because I'm going to give you my tips from A to Z on how to create this beautiful magenta cobalt blue flower for your home or for your garden. Okay, all right, so let's move on to the items that you're going to need to complete the project. Okay, see you soon. Hey folks, okay, let's go over a list of items that you're going to need to complete this project real quickly. And again, as I always say, always remember that it'll be listed in the description box below. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need, as always, are your plates uh, uh, picked out, ready to go just exactly as you want them to appear uh, when they are completed. You're going to need a drill press or a cordless drill. You're also going to need a uh, diamond uh, tipped bit specifically uh, for cutting glass. You can get that at your local hardware store or um, I get my stuff from Amazon. You're going to need a measuring tape to measure uh, the center of your dishes. You're going to need some washers. You're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten everything down. I'm going to be using an orb today so uh, you're going to need a bolt and your toggle along with your uh, hanging hook as well you're going to need a um, magic marker to mark the center of your plates you're going to need some water when cutting the actual dishes and you're going to need your protective eyewear as well as safety gloves when uh, working with the glass so um, if I've left anything out, as usual, it'll be in the description box below. Okay, so let's move on to the actual cutting of this particular uh, piece. Okay, see you soon. Okay, here we are at the cutting stage of this piece. I've got my uh, cordless drill with my diamond tipped uh, drill bit. I've marked the center of this beautiful piece and I've got my water that I'm gonna be using so that this will help uh, get the uh, bit through the glass. And I remember I'm always gonna turn it on a 45 degree angle and then bring my drill straight up. Okay, so here we go. wiping this down. Okay, and then I'm going to put this one to the side. Okay, and I've got my next piece, which is this beautiful uh, cobalt blue. It looks like it was an ashtray, but I'm going to be using it for my flower, so I think this is going to come out amazing. All right, so... I'm going to go get a stabilizer for this one, so just stay with me. So I've already marked the center. I put my stabilizers down. I put a little bit of water on here to help the drill bit get through the glass. And I'm going to turn it at a 45 degree angle, get it started, and then work my way up. 
Okay, here we go, just start slow. Hey folks, okay, we have finished the drilling process for this particular piece, so now I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera back down again so we can uh, proceed with the assembly of this item. Okay, see you soon. Okay, here we are with our pieces. So I'm gonna separate these pieces out. Give myself a little room here. I've got all of my required uh, items that I'm going to be using. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my large plate and I'm going to be turning this over. I've got my um, my bolt and I've got my uh, flower hanger and I'm just going to go ahead and put that washer right there just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it right through the back of that plate. Then the next thing I'm going to do is put another one right there and I'm going to take my pink uh, flower petal and I'm going to stick that right there just like that. Okay, very simple. Then I'm going to go ahead and put another washer down and I'm going to take my beautiful cobalt blue and I'm going to stick that right there just like that. All right. And I've got a pretty large uh, toggle here. This is a, uh, and it's just because these all together are, are going to make it a rather heavy plate. So I want it to be um, substantially su secured. Thus, I'm using a larger um, toggle. All right, I'm going to push that toggle down just a little bit, just like that. And then I've got my orb that I'm going to be using, and I'm going to push my orb in just like that until it catches and as as I pull it I can see that it's caught and I can also visually see it okay so let me go ahead and turn this all the way over on its side and then I'm going to reach for my Phillips head and I'm going to proceed to tighten this down I hope everyone is having a magnificent week out there. All things quiet here at the farm. It's rained every day for the, gosh, it seems like three months. <laughs> so it's very green outside. I'm looking for some cold weather as well. Okay, let me check this. Okay. Just a little bit more. Okay, you don't want to tighten it too tight. And let me turn it this way so I can see it. And that looks magnificent. Okay, just like that. And then let me turn it around carefully so you can see this beautiful piece. All right, so this is one, two, three and then four pieces including the orb i love um, how the cobalt blue uh, piece is shaped and it gives it a lot of depth and of how easy that is to see uh, in this particular uh, picture here but um, from my bird's eye it looks absolutely phenomenal let me turn it over Okay, and there's the hook that is going to be a mounting hook, either inside or outside. And there it is. Isn't that magnificent? Look at all the beautiful colors in this. So you've got pinks, you've got cobalt blues, you've got purples, greens, magentas. I mean, you name it, you've got it. 
and you've also got quite a bit of texture and volume here as well. I think it looks amazing. Okay, so let me move on to showing you how this mounts on a internal stand as well as mounting this outside in your garden. All right, see you soon. Hey everyone, okay, I am back to show you how this looks uh, on this gorgeous stand. Okay, so this would be a stand that you would mount internally. This would make a terrific focal point for just about any room or even on your patio. It's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. There's so many colors. Um, as I indicated earlier, but even that cobalt blue um, ashtray really gives a great accent uh, to the multicolors of the orb as well as the back supporting plate and this magenta pink flower. So I think that came out magnificent. I really, really love it very much. I hope you love it as much as I do. Okay, so let me show you what this looks like on an outdoor stand. Okay, give me one second. Let me take it off here. Okay, let's put that to the side. Okay, now I've got this. Um, this is a piece of conduit that I've painted, and then I've put a hole in this chair cover, and this is how I'm going to mount it. So I'm going to take the flower, just like that, and I'm going to push this straight in just like that just so it sits nicely on this flower I mean on this um, piece of uh, conduit and I think that looks amazing it sits snug as a bug in a rug and again it gives you that easy accessibility to take it off the stand if you want to uh, bring it indoors but I just think that looks magnificent Give you one more turn all the way around. And there it is, our beautiful magenta and cobalt blue flower. That's what I'm gonna call it. Okay, my friends, uh, I am at the end of the video today, and I hope that you have enjoyed this particular episode. If you have any questions with regards to anything uh, that was done here during uh, the video today, you can uh, certainly uh, email me at hurricane4cr at gmail.com. I'll be happy to help. Also, if you're interested in purchasing any of these items, you can reach them on my website at www.zodiciatthefarm.com. Again, that is my website, and you can also um, email me there as well. Uh, I did have uh, uh, one of my um, subscribers who actually emailed me through my website and indicated that I had inspired her to uh, create one of her own, and I, I think that's so magnificent. So if I do anything, I, I hope that um, more people like like her are out there that will take the plunge and uh, you know just get jiggy with their creative side okay so that's it for today um, again I enjoy um, having you here um, many blessings sent your way I hope you have a great week and I hope to see you here again at Zodi C at the farm take care bye bye